Supreme Court by God to this coordination to preach the prophet. He's that dead bastard again. To this last generation. I don't believe he's dead, and this guy. That is done. I'll be done. When he comes, I'm going to me. And uh, I'm going to his side. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, Andy's here, sir, ma'am. How are you people still trying to figure out a life here in this world? There is none. Yeah, there, there is. You can make all the money you want, become all the success you'd like to be. I was reading again today how, how the, the banking system is encroaching in now on Social Security. And why is Social Security? But you know what Social Security does? It actually limits your ability really? to really make money. They give you just enough to get by, and then they strike you a tax. Your health insurance, or you go to the doctor, the doctor can't heal you. They can't heal you. There is no healing in the hospitals. There is no healing in the doctors. See, this is what I'm saying. How does he know all this stuff that's going on right now? This guy's supposed to be dead. No, has no healing mess. Did you know that your Bible, the Word of God said, In vain shalt thou use many medicines, and thou shalt not be cured? You want to tell me at that time? Well, evidently, your spirits are living on the radio. That everything's coming true. You know, Medicare and uh, people that need all the help don't get it. Ain't getting it, but the people. Never mind. I'm not getting into politics. Yeah, we're in a war right now, World War Three. There you go, see? How does this guy freaking know what's going on? And this guy's been dead, what, three years, four years now? You probably do. Probably do. Yes, sir. And when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction to come upon them. And today comes upon a woman with child. Anyways, how's it going, guys? Adam Sam Radio. This, this guy's supposed to be dead, but... I know I'm not, as we call, lying. 24 hours a day. You are alive! I'm back again, but every time you hear him, I don't care what time today, it's a live broadcast. It's something that I have spoken. It's something that I have... And that's what I'm doing today. Yeah, I must be missing something. He must be Jesus. This, he must be the new Jesus Christ, this, this clown act. North, south, east, and west. Weak in body, weak in spirit, but strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Our contact phone number is U.S. Code. Well, you got to call it. Call it up. Call it, call it. Get your paper pencils ready. But anyways, this guy is supposed to be dead, what, three, four years now? And he's adding up all these, 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 um... Predictions he's doing is like right on right now. What's going on right now? Everybody's in poverty. Everybody's take. Nobody's insurance companies. Uh, you paying nothing. Medicare sucks. And he was talking about Satan is bad. He's bad. He's been. He's, he's tearing us apart, which he is. Lord spoke to me about 
So these freaking people, this cult that he's running here, he, he's, he's been dead for three, four years, and they're still capable of going with this program with this guy. I don't think that's right. When someone's dead, this program's over. You know, have somebody else take over his place. The only scriptures that they had were the Old Testament. The Bible was and the prophets, if they don't believe that, Jesus said, they're not going to believe when somebody tells you that I rose again, or I'm coming again. Yeah, he, yeah, he rose again all of a sudden. He rose again, this guy, yeah. I'm irritated by unbelief because they're trying to believe for things, I just said many years ago, they're using faith for things that God never intended for faith to be useful. How you like that? How you like that? Hmm? What do you think right there? Why do you say, Father, in Jesus' name, uh, give me a, a car, or give me a wife, and you're, you're, you're using the name Jesus, and you're praying with faith in that name? Yeah, you're faking your death. I think you're not dead. I think you're alive, man. Living in that compound you live in there. That, 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 that modern George, uh, George, uh, Jamestown over there, South Carolina. He's talking about the evilness and all that. This guy's the devil right here. This guy. It's a freaking pervert. He's a pedo. He's this, he's that. And... He know everything he says. It's like it matches up today's standards right now. Supposedly he's dead. I don't know. I don't believe he's dead. I don't know. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I don't think he's alive. He's he's. I mean, he is alive. Everybody's you know. They, they, he's not. He's not dead. Really. No, it's not the world does have all those babies in this power. Well, yeah, they cut, they, they, uh, they, they kill them now. And you seek to have a life. It's disgusting. Here, you're going to lose. You lose your car, your family, your home, and your children. You lose yourself. You lose yourself. Now, do you like that honesty, that integrity? Get on with it, buddy. My God, we know all about about uh, things of life, the birds and the bees. Let's get on with it. You're not my disciple. See, that's uh, that's a Jesus that's not preached to most of your church. That's the Jesus of the Bible that most of you know nothing about. Nothing because the preachers don't preach Jesus the Christ. Well, well who are you then? You're a preacher, and you think you're Jesus Christ. Am I getting this right or wrong? Give me all I want. And that's another Jesus. Yeah, you. I have talked to this audience for 40 years. I was school for a year for the very first year I started to preach. God began to put me on radio. Yeah. <laughs> Satan got you on radio. Who are you kidding? Every city I would go into, every town, to go to the tent, I would go on the local radio station. Well, I think so. This guy's evil or is, is a devil dog? And the little storefront church right had a revival. And I would go to the local station, and they would put me on on Saturday morning, and it cost me $25 for 30 minutes. That didn't sound too much. Back in those days, I didn't have the money. And I remember one Saturday morning when my oldest son 
I was walking across the uh, parking lot where I had to start my church. I was walking over to the radio station, which was just right across the way. And I was going, because you see, the only way I could get on those stations was I had to pay them. If I went in to preach, even though I was scheduled, I had to pay them before they let me go on the air. That's what I do now. See, I pay stations. The only stations are paid for before I come on to talk to you. Yeah, like WWCR. MWRMI, all the relay stations from your hellhole, your slop hole there, slop bucket. I was walking across this parking lot with my oldest son, and he was running beside me, and we had just walked by a little a store back in those days. Sneakers were coming. So if you really sneakers, we'd come sneakers. That's the man we called Kevin Stills and what? But back in my day, they were a little pair of sneakers. When they came out, all of us little boys, all of us wanted sneakers. Sneakers, you dummy. And we just walked by a little store, and in the store was a pair of sneakers. Uh, one of them would look down and say, Danny, will you get me a pair of sneakers? Well, they were only five bucks, I think, four dollars something. And I just turned off, started to walk across the way because I was going over to the radio station to tell them that I would not be going on this morning because I did not have the $25 to pay. My little boy's walking with me. He said, Daddy, uh, will you buy me a pair of sneakers, Daddy? Will you buy me a pair of sneakers? And I, I just said to him, son, I can't I have the money. I don't have the money. He began to cry. He began to cry. Oh, uh, here we go. Here comes the waterworks. Uh, uh -huh. Not only does he not have money to buy a little boy at Pest Nakers, I don't have money to go on the radio. Yeah, there's probably one of your little boys that you were, you were uh, preaching so that the church needed shoes. Who are you kidding? These perverts. Gross. Hey, brother, stare, brother, stare. And a brother reached out and gave me the $25 to this to pay for your broadcast today. And my heart just rejoiced. And we started to go to the radio station now to pay the $25 to uh, go on the air. So it all started from back in 1970 or whatever. It, 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 it started from $25 from a radio station, and his kid wanted sneakers. He couldn't get them. And, and a guy happened to walk by. Oh, brother's there. Brother's there. Here's $25. Get on the air. And then he went, then he went back on the air. And and uh, we're telling the stations we can't go on so we haven't got the money well you got the so money we, now evidently you're dead if no, somebody's I, keeping I your uh your dumb bum so bum ass on the air so i don't know who we're making money off of your uh dead uh for next year because i believe it jesus your dead man stories here. here i don't believe it's going to come in the first part of next year and we're we're, we're going to start with the feast day pretty soon, and we're going to start... Uh, I wish they just put a... The, the, drive a, na a nail in the coffin, a nail in it already. Just get this guy out the air and, and I will tell you put again, somebody else on the air and take God over this position. It's the same thing over and over. It's never different. At the Feast of Trumpets in the giving year. Did you hear what I said? And the Feast of Trumpets is not going to come until next September. So we got... The first part of this year, as we prepare and wait and look, and as we watch and look, he will tell us somewhere between now and then to let us know that that's the trumpet is coming. That's why you need the prophet. That's why God said it. Well, he's the prophet. Yeah, he's the he's the prophet of God. This guy. The Lord God still has a secret. It's a secret to mankind. It's a secret. God keeps it a secret. Yeah, it's a secret, all right. Everything's a secret with you. And when the time comes, he will reveal that secret to a prophet, and that's a secret too. Who's that prophet? You're a crocket of crap. How's it being done? 
And only if God reveals it to you, will you believe that I'm the prophet. You're not and a prophet. God has revealed it You're just to a me. dumb old man. I believe. Sits behind a microphone. And I'm preaching the gospel. Retransmits your signal and it goes to the WRMI and it retransmits it. Like a remote station. Proclaiming to rich and poor, black and white, bond and free. Jesus Christ is coming. In this, 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 this generation, the generation that he raised me up in, began, I began this generation, my birth in 1933. I. I watched God bring me to the Lord in 1933, so that makes you what? A, what do they call them people? Flappers or, or uh, flapper area? Or... I, I can't, I don't remember how generations go down. The freaking pilgrims? I heard prophecy preachers talk about how God said that a, a nation would be born in a day. And did you know, in the month of May, I think it was, 1948, that Israel became a nation after two, almost 2,000 years, being scattered all over everywhere. As God said to me, God began the gathering of the people of Israel back to Jerusalem. And they would declare a nation, a nation, a nation. And they, I was just looking at the satellite. And the satellite that I'm preaching off of is sent up from Jerusalem. That's where they send this message to you, to you wherever you are. And the, and the, the change headquarters. <laughs> I sat and looked at that. The headquarters of R&R. &R &R, yeah, this is painstaking. I mean, just listening to this guy, you know, I mean, it's it's hilarious to listen to him. But all, all these are all been, you know, I've never heard this one before. He was born in 1933. What makes him? He, he, you know, he's. See, it is the 20s, 30s. He's in the, what is it, roaring 20s uh, generation or something like that? And see the redemption of Israel and the working of God by sending the prophet. Yeah, and here it is, 2024. Oh, excuse me. This is the last time. Jesus Christ is coming as he said. As I came to the radio room, as I spoke to you a little earlier, I had scriptures running through my mind. So I quickly took the Bible and opened up the seven of them. And uh, the one important Yeah, thing an old man behind the Bible and in these freaking weird all and he's gonna study the heck out of it and then uh the Old Testament. Now there's more than three, but there are three uh, that God used wreck the whole, the whole situation and then blow it out of proportion. That's what this guy does. One is, uh, then he forecasts the future. So basically, he's like a, a, a tarot, uh, tarot, uh, uh, tarot card reader, this freaking clown. And that, there you go, Satan, right here. And his voice is still being heard 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And this guy's been dead five, three or four years, five years now. So that they can tell Israel what they should do. And if you read the book of Daniel, which is perhaps the most prolific, condensed book on the end time, because about everything that Daniel wrote, God said, Put it up, Daniel. And he talks Don't a lot know, about Israel, though. He talks a lot about Israel. Because it's not to be revealed until the time of the end. And in the time of the end, it will be revealed. And the revelation will have to do with the time of the end. 
Well, I thought that was great. Well, was that? I thought that was very precise. Hmm? I'll get to that, though. But see, it was even Daniel. Cool. All right. Well, I just figured I'd make this video. This derelict, uh, 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 or whatever heck he is. Satan, we might as well just call him uh, Satan's uh, brother, Stare the Snare. Snare, bear the snare, snare, brother, Stare the snare, the bear. And uh, it's, th this is it. Alright.